Also joining us today in the coverage is our very own Angelique Manto. Angelique, what do you have for us? Mga kapamilya, let's wrap up the day one of round two ng NCAA sa laban sa pagitan ng JRU Heavy Bombers and at ng SPU or San Beta Red Lions. Kaya naman, join in our conversation by tweeting us through our official hashtags, hashtag NCAA Season 94 and hashtag Galing NCAA. At para naman sa mga kapamilya natin na wala dito sa arena or may ginagawa, stuck sa traffic, pero gusto pa rin makanood at makibalita sa action natin dito sa game. Pwedeng-pwede kayong manood through our live stream at the number one sports website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com and through our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash abs-cbn sports. So go ahead and subscribe and stay updated, mga kapamilya. So I'll see you again in the games. Anton and Ren Ren. Yep, see you later, Angelique. Thank you so much for the updates. When we come back, we shall have this matchup between San Beda and JRU. Ito po. Ang NCAA Season 94. Mga kapamilya, nakatutok pa rin kayo dito sa NCAA Season 94 on SNA. Alam nyo, Anton and Renren still in honeymoon phase. That's how Coach Virgil Meneses is seeing the status of the heavy bombers so far this season. For a rebuilding team, he is not taking their mistakes too hard against the team. Yes, very relaxed pa ang napanggit ito sa akin ni Coach Virgil. Seemingly looking into the grand scheme of things. Sabi nga niya, sabi ko sa players ko, nakita nyo ba kung nagalit o sumigaw sa inyo? I know I am the intense kind of coach, but I am playing along to how they are supposed to grow through patience in learning from their mistakes against and with firsthand from teams like San Beda. Intimidation may be a factor in facing big teams, but all we have to do is to turn it around and use it as our confidence to get to where we want to be. Anton and Ren Ren? All right, let's go natin si Angelique Manto. Para sa San Beda, this game is the start of the build-up for or coming to their biggest game at the end of the elimination round. But Coach Boyet Fernandez was quick to note that that doesn't mean they are overlooking the other teams they are facing. Sabi nga niya, itinuturing nilang barometer ang pagkatalo nila against LPU. And every game, that is where they are considering the reparations for their mistakes. For this game, he commends the defense that the Red Lions are showing in the first quarter. Pero time to execute naman daw. Execute our plays, he relays. Overconfidence is not in our DNA. Anton and Ren Ren? Kaya halftime na nga po, lamang ang San Beda Red Lions with a score of 32 to 21 ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Pero kung itinuturing na inspiration o motivator ng San Beda Red Lions itong si Coach Boyet Fernandez, eh kasama naman natin at maswerte tayong mga kausap. Ang inspiration naman ni Coach Boyet o ang tinatawag nilang Tatay Boyet. Kasama natin ang dalawang anak ni Coach Boyet na si Thea and Trina Fernandez. Hi, girls! Pero ang, ang gusto mo nang sabihin, congratulations kay Thea. Congratulations dahil isa siyang pharmacy board passer. Congratulations! Gusto namin malaman on the court and eh, nakikita natin, super strict or yung iba sinasabi nila, medyo parang masungit itong si Coach Boyet. Pero sa bahay ba? Kamusta si Tatay Boyet? What difference um, yung meron kay Coach Boyet kay Tatay Boyet? Boyet. Um, actually, wala namang gaanong difference because minsan nga sa bahay, pag may problems kami or may kailangan kami na, tay, anong gagawin ko dito, ganyan-ganyan. Minsan kulang na lang maglabas siya ng whiteboard para magsulat siya na, ay, ito muna, ito muna gagawin natin. Tapos everyday na ito uunahin unati, nating sunduin. O si mama mo, tapos ikaw, tapos gano'n, tapos gano'n. So parang he's practically the same. Pero yung pagka masungit, masungit siya sa amin pag may mali kaming ginawa. Pero very rare. Kaya magugulat ka talaga pag nasa court siya na hindi naman siya ganyan sa amin. So parang minsan nga kahit yung mga friends namin, ang tawag sa kanya, tatay na rin. Kasi he's very caring kahit sa amin. So para lang, para lang siyang tropa. Kasi sobrang, I mean, sobrang weird. Weird talaga siya. Parang funny siya. And medyo mahihiya ka na lang minsan pag napaka, ano niya, like minsan sasayaw siya. Ganon. So parang sobrang weird. Magugulat na lang talaga yung mga friends mo na ganyan pala si coach. Parang ganon. Nakakatuwa ka ng tatay. Yung tawag nyo sa kanya, di ba, usually daddy or papa. Parang may ibang bigat kapag tatay yung tawag. Sakto yung sinabi ni Thea kasi gusto kong itanong, paano ba nababalance ni Coach Boyet at Tatay Boyet yung pagiging coach at tatay niya? Sabi niya, kulang na lang maglalabas siya ng ano, whiteboard. Ginagawa niya ba yun? Nagiging coach ba siya sa bahay? Slight po. Kasi si Tatay po kasi sobrang workaholic. So hindi ko po actually alam kung paano niya talaga nababalance. Kasi po umaabot siya ng mga madaling araw, nag-scouting para lang makahelp sa team. And kahit pa sa mga 
sa vacation namin, parang nagiging team na lang kami, ganun. So hindi ko po talaga alam paano niya nababalance yung work life niya and everything. Pero for sure, priority naman kayo ni Tatay Boy. At, at kapag nalaman niya na nakausap ko kayo, mas mai-inspire pa yun sa larong ito. Kaya naman, bigyan niyo naman ang message si Tatay Boy or si Coach Boy at atang San Pedro Red Lions. Um, message ko lang is that dahil chill lang, kaya niyo yan, malakas kayo eh. <laughs> Ikaw, Thea. Um, ako, basta uh, all through these years, I've been telling him na don't forget yourself, don't forget to rest. Kasi yun talaga yung nakikita ko. Kasi masyado siyang dedicated sa ginagawa niya. Please tayo, magpahinga ka naman kahit minsan. Al kaya na ng players yan. <laughs> Makakahinga si Tatay Boyet or si Coach Boyet, lalo na pag naipanalo nila yung laro na ito. Kaya naman, thank you so much, Thea and Trina, para sa pagpayag nyo na ma-interview ko kayo. And of course, congratulations again, Thea, for passing the board for pharmacy. At mga kapamilya, sa palagay nyo ba, eh, iuuwi na ng San Beda ang panalo ngayon o makakahapol pa ang JRU Heavy Bombers. Sipin nyo lang kami gamit ang ating official hashtag Hashtag NCAA Season 94 and hashtag galing NCAA. Third quarter na sa laban sa pagitan ng JRU Heavy Bombers at San Beda Red Lions dito sa NCAA Season 94 on SNA. Anton and Ren Ren isa nga sa mga napanggit ni Coach Virgil Meneses na naging problema ng Heavy Bombers last game against San Beda Red Lions ay ang kanilang conversion. And now having the same problem paalala nga ni Coach Virgil, we can't just pass pass without a threat. We are just passing for the sake of running the play, not thinking of our best options. Play is just a pattern. Dito nga daw, iira lang inahanap niyang chemistry and character of the team. Pinangkit nga ni Mark Maliari, rookie man ako, but I am taught and urged to play like a veteran. That at ang laban na gustong makita ni Coach Verhel ang tutulong sa kanila sa larong ito. Anton and Renner.